Atari's packaging style from the 400-800 era many pieces of software were available for the Atari 8-bit family of home computers. Software was sold both by Atari Incorporated and third parties. Atari also distributed software through the Atari Program Exchange from 1981 to 1984. After APX folded, many titles were picked up by Endix Software. Atari Incorporated published two assemblers. The Atari Assembler Editor cartridge is a friendlier, integrated development environment on using line numbers for editing source code similar to Atari Basic. The professionally targeted Atari Macro Assembler shipped at a higher price on a copy-protected disk without editor or debugger. Third-party assemblers include Syn Assembler from Synapse Software in May from Eastern House. Optimized system software published an enhanced disk-based assembler mimicking the structure of Atari's assembler editor as EZMD. It followed that with Mag-65. Mag-65 tokenizes lines of code as they are entered and has much faster assembly times than Atari's products. Dunyan's debugging tool by Jim Dunyan is a machine language debugger originally sold through the Atari program exchange. A reduced version is included in the cartridge version of Mag-65. Atari Magazine Analog Computing published the Machine Language Monitor HBUG as a type and listing. Followed by BBK Monitor. Atari shipped Atari Basic with all their machines either as a cartridge or in ROM. It also sold Atari Microsoft Basic on disk. Optimized System Software created a series of enhanced basics, Basic A+, Basic XL, Basic C. Basic compilers were also available, from 1982's ABC to two releases. From 1985, Advan Basic and Turbo Basic XL. Atari's own Atari Pascal requires two disk drives and was relegated to the Atari Program Exchange instead of the official product line. Later options were Draper Pascal and Kind Pascal. Atari 8 bit fourths include Fig Fourth, Extended Fig Fourth, S Fourth, QS Fourth, and Val Fourth. Action. Is in. Algol 68 like procedural programming language that shipped on cartridge with an integrated compiler and full screen text editor. The language is designed for quick compile times and to generate efficient 6502 machine code. Deep Blue C is a port of Ron Kane's small C compiler. It was sold through the Atari Program Exchange. Atari Incorporated. Published versions of Atari Logo and Atari Pilot on cartridge. Other Atari 8-bit family languages include Extended WSFN and Enter Lisp 65. Atari Incorporated. Published the Atari Word Processor in 1981, followed by the more popular Atari Writer cartridge in 1983. Third-party options include Paperclip, Letter Perfect, Word Magic, Superscript, Bank Street Writer, Compute, Magazines Type and Speed Script, The Writer's Tool, Muse Software Supertext, and relative latecomer the first excellent word processor in 1986. Cut and paste from Electronic Arts and Homeward from Sierra Online were designed to be simpler to use than other programs. Two integrated software packages that include word processing are HomePack and MiniOffice 2. And it compared seven word processors in the February 1987 issue of the magazine. Because of graphics superior to that of the Apple II and Atari's home-oriented marketing, the Atari 8-bit computers gained a good reputation for games. Byte in 1981 stated that for sound and video graphics, they are hard to beat. Jerry Pornell wrote in the magazine in 1982, when trying to decide what computer to buy his sons, that if you're only interested in games, that's the machine to get. It's not all that expensive, either. Star Raiders was Atari's killer app, akin to VisiCalc for the Apple II in its ability to persuade customers to buy the computer. Antic in 1986 stated that it was the first program that showed all of the Atari computer's audio and visual capabilities. It was just a game, yes, but it revolutionized. The idea of what a personal computer could be made to do. A 1984 compendium of reviews used 198 pages for games compared to 167 for all others. It noted the existence of a distinct graphics look to native Atari software, multiple graphics modes, four-directional fine scrolling, colorful modified character set backgrounds, and, of course, player missile graphics. Thanks for watching.